Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you the importance of polarization in power delivery between two antennas. To create simulation scenario, let us use the inset fed microstrip patch antenna that I created in my previous videos. Now let us modify this design to demonstrate the importance of polarization in power delivery. To begin with, first let us create a copy of this uh, entire design and shift it to a distance of 1 meters. To do that, first select this design by pressing Ctrl A and then make a copy by clicking on Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Now the copy is created. Now to shift this, click somewhere on this screen and then click on Edit, go to Arrange, click on Move and then uh, here you can enter the values at XYZ positions as 0, 0 and 1000 again after pressing enter we enter 0 0 and 1000 in the z place just click ok now you can see a copy is created and it is moved to a distance of 1 meter this you can see now totally we have two copies now you can see there is unassigned sheets so first let us make assignment for that unassigned sheets then continue so here there is an excitation which we have to assign so for that select that excitation one right click and click on assign excitation here you click on lumped port and then you just click here next and here integration line you select as a new line then you just zoom it and see here this is the assignment that I have to do let us see here properly we have to draw a integration line from here to here so now it is defined click next finish so now we have assigned the excitation for the second uh, copy that what we have created after that again you click on this unassign you can see here there is a ground which is unassigned right click here and click on assign boundary make it perfect electric click ok similarly once again you click on this unassign select that patch one and make it uh, assign boundary perfect electric so now all material assignment is completed now the next step is we have to assign this radiation boxes as uh, assign hybrid and select fe bi click ok similarly for radiation box 2 do the same thing by selecting assign hybrid febi click ok so now all assignments of uh, boundaries and materials is completed here we can observe the radiating elements in antenna 1 and antenna 2 are not facing each other now we have to make it face each other to do that let us select here GND and click on this move here you change this thousand to thousand millimeter plus dollar H you can see here now the ground is shifted to the back side of this particular substrate similarly bring this patch to the front of the substrate to do that select this patch you just click on move and here you can change this to 1000 millimeter minus dollar H so click OK now we can see the ground plane and the radiating element are swapped on this particular antenna now let us animate the second antenna and see the rotation to do that let us go to view and click on this animate ok and select patch and click OK here so here you can give a new uh, animation so for that you can select the start as minus 90 degrees and end angle as plus 90 degrees let us keep this steps as 15 itself then click OK now we can see it is very clearly uh, seen here the antenna is rotating from minus 90 degrees and it is ending at plus 90 degrees so this process is repeating that confirms that the first antenna is stationary here and the second antenna is a moving antenna so thereby so the electric 
field orientation will also change for the second antenna. Now, as a final step, let us go to Optimatrix. Right click here, click on Add Parametric. Select uh, here the D theta and give the angle here starting from say 0 degrees and up to 90 degrees and here we can give uh, 15 degrees as a step. Click add, click OK and then you can see here a table is created with different values of theta. So click OK and now we can just check the design is not having any errors here that is confirmed. Click close this and then click on analyze all. Now the simulation is started then we can see how the polarization will play a role in delivering the power between the two antennas. Now the simulation is completed we can plot the results of this particular experiment. To do that click on this results and select here create model solution data report. Click on rectangular plot. Here uh, change the primary sweep to d theta and select families frequency uh, any frequency you can choose here let me just select close to 2.4 gigahertz which is 2.4022 so then you can select here s21 and db so generate a new report here the plot is created and from this graph it is very clear that at 0 degrees okay when both antennas are facing with 0 degrees so the maximum uh, power transfer is taking place and as uh, the inclination of the second antenna changes that it is moving from uh, say uh, 0 degrees to uh, 10 20 30 and so on up to 90 degrees so if you just observe here so the radiation or, or uh, the power is actually keep on reducing the coupling power is keep on reducing that's all in this video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share to your friends thank you